Sorry, bud. I happen to know that you're using a uh, magician's trick called loops. Allow me to demonstrate. See this fork here? Anyway, with any luck, I do a little bit of levitation, and you should start to see it move. See? It's already moving. Woo! It's moving! I'm psychic! I happen to know you're using a magician's trick called loops. If you can take a close look right here, there's an invisible thread attached to my hand. It's not very visible, but like I said, the fact is, the um, I should introduce myself. My name is The Practitioner. I'm a Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, a parapsychological researcher, and a um, magician by trade. And the, uh, anyway, here you can see, you see these uh, two strings here which are attached? Those are loops. I just used one of those to, I just used one of those attached to my hand to move this fork. Sorry, buddy. You claim telekinetic capabilities. If you want to prove that you are telekinetic um, uh, and uh, to prove that you're not using loops, here's what I'd recommend. Next time, put the fork down like this. Then as you're waving your hand or what have you, wave your other hand underneath to prove that there is no strings attached. I just conveniently put the loops away, just this way you know. But the point is that if there were, um, if you were, if you're not using strings and actually have genuine telekinetic capability, then you should be able to wave one hand underneath the other without anything breaking, and then still be able to move the fork afterwards. Okay? It would have to be completely under the hand. Uh, I know the false, I know the sleight of hand techniques for uh, uh, for various things like uh, trying to prove to people that you aren't losing, aren't using uh, invisible thread or loops when in fact you are. So sorry, S O L, buddy, but um. For, uh, fork moving and macro telekinesis, they're just bunk.